Welcome to Coffee Calm and Connection Bite Size, where we deliver key takeaways from our full interviews on current topics from mental health experts. Because I think one of the things with COVID, our mind as human and, and our memory as human beings has been, especially the current generations, we've been away from war, disasters for a long period of time. And I think uh, COVID came now and came into our houses. So the war is not in a battlefield now, the battlefield is in everywhere. You know, so I think that's what made it more magnified for us and uh, threatened so many things about our own concept and our own existential issues. Uh, Do you know, just going to the war analogy, my granddad, my granddad passed away from COVID last month yeah. and it was, it, it should not have happened. He was a very, very fit and healthy man. And I said to him when uh, COVID started, how does this, how does it sit with your experience of World War II? Because he was four in World War II when World War II started. So young, but I said to him, is it kind of the same? You know, does it, has it got the same feel about it? And he said, no, because when we were in the war, we could deal with it as a community. And what COVID has done is gone to the very heart of what we are as human beings and taken that community away. And that I found so interesting as a, you know, as a species and the fact that we need other people. I thought that was a, a really interesting analogy. But, you know, to your point, it is the battlefield. But the way the battle is being fought is really to pull us apart from each other. I mean, that's interesting. I mean, I haven't talked to someone who attended the World War, but it's interesting what he said. And actually, what's amazing about it, because when we came later on what to do as individuals, we talk about actually there is societal management and treatment and role in that addressing the psychological issues, not only just the physical threats. So I think that's interesting. And you were asking me about my background. I mean, one of the things um, pioneering before even this COVID started, we, we're looking at virtual psychological therapy and, 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 and telepsychiatry and telemedicine. And that's how our organization, NAFS uh, Health, started. And I think that's the society might have the change in a different model now, our virtual, but that's still taking the human touch of us, but we can make the best out of it. So that's an interesting point, and I, we, we, we may need to come to it, you know, at some stage.